Welcome back. So we're talking about the task force members. Task force member number two is building the pathway. And then this is the job description we're going to go through for building the pathway. Remember the pathway that we're going to review some of this is really thinking about from the age 13, because we're going after 13 year olds, all the way through 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, through some churches go all the way through the year 25. What do we want them to look like all along the way? Now that might be overwhelming at first, so just start with, say, 13 through 17. What do you want them to look like the first year of their growth in Christ, second year, third year, fourth year, and really think deeply, clarifying the growth that's, in, that's imperative to happen. Now, you're going to want to have other people around you in this. Um, for example, talk to the senior pastor, engaging the youth pastor, talking to other people about, you know, that have grown deeply in Christ. Like, what's... What are the milestones the first year? Now, uh, building this pathway uh, to build a life-giving growth path for those 13 to 25 years old that clarifies things like, what are the growth goals each year? Provides wisdom and relationships through the toughest decision-making seasons of their life. So what we're trying to do is accomplish a couple things at the same time with these small groups, connect groups. You can call them that or something else. Some people call them family groups, whatever. You can choose what you want. Um, but First of all, you're helping them relationally. These are people you're going to get tight with. These are people you're going to get to know. You're going to share your heart with, and you're you're going to listen to, and you're going to pray for each other. Okay? We might end up crying together, laughing together, having some fun together. So you're building relationally, but you're also building the fiber of their faith. We're growing together. Okay? And um, think about when people like join the Navy SEALs or something. You know, they're 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 doing training together, but they're but they're walking through battle together, right? And so they they're going through the toughest times they'll ever face. And that's really what happens through teenage years, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, some of the toughest years of their life. They're wrestling through things, especially with the culture coming at them like this. They need a posse, people they go through life with. Even if they don't stay together the rest of their life, just maybe the first year or the second year or the third year, they are three years together, whatever. Um, some of these, you're going to have to decide on this. Uh, some decisions are, do you want that same group to stay together all the way through? Some will say, well, keep them through a tri trimester and then another trimester, then another trimester, just one trimester at a time. Some will say, well, we want them to be together three or four years, and then after that, they can shift to another group. Um, so you can decide how what might work better for you. Um, but this is preparing them to be mature, highly functional young adults to move the church forward because you want them to emerge at 20 years old, 21, 22, 23, is they're deep. They not only have been in a group, but they've been leading a group for three, four, five years. So by the time they're 21, they've been leading for five or six years. You know, by the time you're done teaching something for five years, those of you that have been Sunday school teachers in the past, you really know that stuff. And so isn't that what we want? There's nobody at college who's gonna talk them out of their faith if they've been teaching for four or five years by the time they get there. So. Building this pathway is so important. It takes time, and you got to get launched on this right away. Uh, as soon as we're done with these first four weeks, month one, you're going to start building the pathway, doing the research, you know, uh, assimilating the goals, and, and that kind of thing. Um, and if you're not building your own pathway, researching what are the different discipleship tools or curriculums or things you might want to use along the way. Now, part of the the thing you don't want to lose focus on is you want to look at the long term, but the short term. What do we want them to turn up by the time by the time they're 20? What do we want them to look like? 21, 22, 25. But what needs to happen right now? Because there's an urgency. Because in a few short months you're going to have your first epic event for 13 year olds. But before that, you've got to start training your leaders. Okay, so uh, in what this path looks like. So uh, we got to start building the immediate path right away. So. The long-term ultimate goal while assembling the immediate initial year is really important. So here's some of the steps along the way. The key to building exponential in your church is building this pathway. You don't build this pathway, there's nothing, there's nothing that I know of that'll work. There's no exponential church that I've seen anywhere in the world that is successful and, since, and, and hence called an exponential church that doesn't have a very precise pass, pathway that they pull people into and it's winsome. They don't force them, that they compel them. It's so life-giving. They want to be a part of it, okay? Um, you want to use guidance from your senior pastor on what are the growth goals. Uh, should include what you want them to learn each week, each month, each trimester, each year. Um, 
What are the overall uh, goals of growth by the end of each trimester? So uh, plan for a weekend or a day-long event at the end of each trimester. We call them uh, encounter events. You can call them a day-long retreat. And so the idea in, in every church that's an exponential, exponential church does this. They have a trimester, like 12 weeks, and at the end, they end with what they call like an encounter. It's like a one-day retreat. And so the point of this, and we'll give you some details about what an encounter uh, event looks like, is that it sort of summarizes the whole 12 weeks, the first 12 weeks, the second 12 weeks, and it's a time of um, ministry time. And so a lot of the the weekend and week out thing is happening with the small group leaders and you're have you're meeting with those leaders and then they're meeting with their group and st still you're having your your general meeting for everybody but the encounter is for everybody it's kind of an honor to get to go to an encounter you've been to the first trimester you get to go to the encounter right and and you get them to sign up for it it's all day long we'll talk about what that day can look like but it's more of a it's a great worship time you have them all together you break them into small groups yeah but we'll talk about the details of what those days look like but but then the second trimester trimester two and then at the end of that you have another encounter so it's part of the system here uh, an encounter is more of a great worship great ministry and then they come forward whatever you've ministered on you've kind of summarized some of the main points the first 12 weeks and then you've ministered on that yeah you've poured into them and you give them a chance you got the worship team there you, you know maybe deliverance or freedom get you know time to repent of sexual whatever or you know unforgiveness they've had things that are really life uh, you know um self felt needs kinds of things brokenness that they have and it's a time of a catharsis and real ministry connection with the lord the holy spirit comes and just massages their lives and they're with their connect group leaders and they're right there for the ministry they're crying together they're praying together it's really a moment like oh my gosh did you go to the encounter oh it was so great and then you start the next tri trimester and then you have another encounter after that i would also encourage you as you're thinking about trimesters is at the end of each trimester, everybody that makes it to the end goes to the encounter, gets a certificate of completion. And you bring them in, in front of the church, say, hey, these 10 or these 20, these 50 just completed. We're so proud of them. They're not just coming to church. They're not just coming to events. They're going deep. You know, they're like working out. They got Red Bull. They got testosterone. They completed, give them other certificates. You pray over them. The church rejoices. And the church then can see, wow, this is really something happening. Then trimester two comes. And by the time that happens, you've got people going through trimester two, but then a new group going through trimester one because they just came to the Lord because they just had the op awesome epic event for 13-year-olds. And they go through four weeks of uh, welcome to the family and then the trimester. So um, so anyways, just uh, want, want to encourage you to understand and think about how important it is to get this done early on uh, now. Now is the time, okay? you got to plan in advance. So... I, I would just encourage you, off the shelf things, I mentioned uh, we've got Pathway to Freedom coming out with the Ministry Masterclass series that you can use if you want to um, uh, you know, have something off the shelf that's easy for you to use um, and for them to use. It's, it's very similar to the software that you're using right now. They would just click into it. They would download the PDF. They can fill it out week by week because there's something to do in their quiet time every single day. And then there's something for the... Uh, connect group leader to uh, use in the, um, in the in the group meeting that week questions and uh, discussion questions and then a video for them to watch and uh, so it's kind of a self you know off the shelf uh, uh, self propelled uh, you can do it that way if you would like to do that the first four weeks welcome to the family in the pathway to freedom is free we just want to bless you with that and so. Um, anyways, you can click into that and see some of that if you would like for them to participate in that. That's an off-the-shelf solution. And then we made it so that you can just subscribe to it. If you've got 10 students, you can subscribe for 10 or for 20 or for 50 and scale up as you need more access. So um, anyways, uh, this, this is so important that we start right now and that you have it all prepared for the very first uh, epic event for 13-year-olds that you've not only um, you've got it prepared, but your leaders have already started to go through the pathway. So when they start leading a small group, they know exactly what they're leading their small group into.